Yellow Gamer Home is back. And in this video, we're going to turn this account into a god in Blast Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel and this will really help us make better videos. With the actor slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam! There's the dunk! Okay guys, so are you watching One Piece? And if the answer is yes, everyone knows that the only self-proclaimed god in One Piece is NL. So in this video, we're going to become him, take his throne, and become a god. So guys, what fruit is he using? For those who don't know, he is using the Rumble Fruit which costs 2.1 million bellies or 2,100 Robux. So guys, check. We already have that. We're gonna eat it. And one good thing with his fruit is it is a Logia or Elemental type. Which means enemies without Haki cannot damage you. So for the stats, melee defense and blocks fruits. So we will head to the Sea of Treats. Guys, best way to grind your mastery with a new fruit if you're at max level is this one, Ice Cream Chefs. Again, no hacky, no damage, and you're gonna last hit him using your Rumble Fruit. We have two times mastery, which means our grinding here will be fast. There you go. First skill that will be unlocked is the Lightning Dash. Guys, this is equivalent to a Soru. There you go. Okay. So back to grinding mastery. Next up is the X skills, Sky Thunder. So moving on. For the C skill, we have the Sky Beam. For me, this is the best skill of the Unawakened. Rumble Fruit, there you go, and last but not the least, Thunder Bomb at 250 Mastery. There you go. So guys, after unlocking all the skills, now is the time to awaken the Rumble Fruit. Guys, can you finish or awaken this fruit solo? The answer is yes, I'm gonna show it to you, don't worry, but first, let's defeat the ships. Okay, we're gonna use the Rumble Fruit to further showcase the skills. So we're gonna start with the V skill, there you go, Thunder Bomb, whoa guys. This fruit really looks good, the skills. Next up is the Z skill, not bad. X skill and the Sky Beam, my favorite skill. There you go, okay. Uh, Lightning Dash has no damage. So while waiting for our skills to cool down, we're gonna board their ship, guys. There is no driver. <laughs> There's a ghost. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna defeat this one and start awakening our Rumble Fruit. Okay. But guys, there is still one more step. Okay, we gotta spin one more step in order to easily awaken this Rumble Fruit. We need race V4, okay? Angel race. So we're gonna spend lots of Robux. Guys, check this out. Rabbit, human, rabbit, human. We are being scammed. Guys, can you guess how many fragments did I use just to get the angel race? I spent 30,000 and that's not yet enough. So guys, it made me use some Robux really annoying spent 30k fragments on this one there you go second time i was able to acquire the angel race so guys change your stats to melee defense and sword also we can use the spin fruit a while ago in order to buy a chip okay so let's start guys i'm not gonna show you the full raid i'm just gonna give you some tips there you go i entered the raid solo guys we're gonna use sword why angel race v4 awakening Guys, because it has a skill wherein it can stun anywhere within its range. I'm gonna show it to you. Gamer Gnome, should we use the Awakening as soon as possible? No, guys. You can start using it at the third island or, if possible, on the final island. But in this raid, I decided to use it on the third island, which made things a lot harder. So as you can see, Awakening, there you go, stun. Everyone was stunned. As long as they're there within the range of the angel race v4 skill there you go see that guys bow to the king aside from the stun you can now fly there you go next stop island four so guys check this out our awakening is almost done even though everything was a lot easier after this what will you do guys it's a lot harder there you go that that is my biggest mistake here so here you go fifth island we still have six minutes and 50 seconds check it out and for the next four minutes almost five minutes i spent all my time just regenerating the awakening meter until i was able to awaken or transform myself so once i did that check it out very easy the boss is not moving just left clicks and that is the way to awaken a fruit solo okay aside from using buddha fruit one more thing, prepare a total of 19,500 fragments 
to fully awaken the rumble fruit plus the pole v2 guys so again aside from me spending 30k on the race i was not able to get it you still need 19,500 to fully awaken your rumble fruit so on the sixth raid you'll awaken this area this is where you will awaken or unlock v2 pole so here it is again for pole v2 that is 5,000 fragments but that is part of the total 19,500 so here it is there you go <laughs> not bad right after all of this next up we are heading towards the sea of treats again to unlock all the skills and after that we will get or dethrone the thunder god okay don't worry this will be fast why because we have stats on sword and this is a sword right so for the z skill we have the hand of god a lot better compared to the pole v1 there you go next skill is the x skill the electric prison so i'm gonna show it to you don't worry guys we'll compare both pole v1 v2 and also the awakened and then awakened rumble so first up pole v1 z skill there you go this is the pole v2 z skill let's compare them there you go next up pole v1 x skill there you go pole v2 x skill let's compare them and after this rumble awakened versus unawakened z skill here it is x skill there you go c skill and after this guys v skill sorry i forgot to include the f skill again i apologize because i'm in a hurry i'm going to watch a valuable game but for the cosplay here it is there you go now we look like nl now time to head to the first c okay first c here we are heading to the skylands and to finish our cosplay we are going to buy this one actually i already bought it the tomo ring because this is the one used by nl right in one piece I go for 500,000 bellies. We're gonna use it. There you go. A rare accessory. Really good for blocks for users. Let's get the Thunder God quest. Here it is. Okay, so now time to fight Thunder God. So guys, who do you think is better? The Thunder God or our new Thunder God V2? <laughs> okay, so as you can see, he's using the X skill, right? Of the Unawakened. We're gonna use our very own Awakened X skill. Wait, why is there no damage? <laughs> Check the stats. Oh, okay. No blocks, fruits. Okay, I'm just gonna show you again the skills of the Awakened. And after that, we're gonna off him using the Pole V2, okay? That's the X skill. Okay, next up, we're gonna use hmm, the Z skill. Let's try it. There you go. How about the C skill, guys? Sky Judgment. This one really looks good. And last but not the least, the Thunderbolt Destruction. Okay, I think I forgot to use the Electric Flash again. Because again, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, that's it. We're going to use Haki and destroy this Thunder God using the Hand of God. Electric Prison. Or just maybe some left clicks. So guys, what do you think? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, comment in the comment section. Guys, if you reach 100,000 views with this video, I will make more videos like this, okay? So again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, we've already defeated the Thunder God. This is Gamer Gnome. Gamer Gnome out.